Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at the Samsung Galaxy J7 uh, Pro and I don't know why many of you asked me to review this device uh, so I purchased this one and I purchased it from the local market from uh, Fezzel Communication and as you can see the price quoted here is 22,300 uh, but uh, I got it from Fezzel Communications for 20,400 it's also available uh, via Flipkart uh, and the price on Flipkart is 20,900 guys uh, so I'll leave the link for Flipkart in the show notes so if you're buying it online uh, do use the link it does help the channel and let's just cut the seals and have a look and um, interesting thing is that uh, this one is also having the Exynos uh, 7870 uh, processor uh, and that was baffling to me considering the price point of this device this is priced above 20,000 and uh, this is the Galaxy J7 next this is priced at 11,500 this one also has the same processor so I just don't get the logic of Samsung India and their pricing yes there is one thing that is very different uh, in this one is that this one is the first uh, i would not the first this is the most affordable uh, device that has samsung pay so this has full functionality of the samsung pay but again uh, my question is let me break the seal uh, will you be paying this high premium for just that samsung pay so let's open this up and uh, as you can see we get the device itself this is in gold color there is also one more color that is in black uh, good thing is that it comes with 64 GB of internal storage. Uh, I'll talk about the other specs later on. So quick start guide and other stuff. As you can see, it's also in Hindi. I'll keep these things to the side for now. And uh, we also get the SIM ejector tool that is there. And uh, we get two cables. Uh, this is uh, micro USB. Sadly, it is still having the micro USB. It's not USB Type-C that you're getting. And uh, this is the headset that we are getting uh, but again uh, it's very strange that Samsung is just including the older type headset this is not the in-ear considering the price point again I feel they should have provided the in-ear headset let's look at the charger and the rating does it support fast charging uh, 5 volts at 1.5 uh, amperes uh, nothing about 9 volts and 12 volts so it looks like a regular charger not a fast charger so let me keep these things to the side that's what we get in the box and uh, before we continue i want to thank bank bazaar for sponsoring this video you know you can buy this phone online in the comfort of your home then why run around for your loans and credit cards download the bank bazaar app fill in a few details and get e-approval in 30 minutes no paperwork no tension so what will you choose tension hazard yeah bank bazaar so here is the device itself let's have a closer look at the device itself let's just take this out and uh, uh, I just accidentally switched uh, it on, power it on, uh, but by the time it actually boots up, let me give you a physical overview. Uh, on the top, we actually have uh, nothing on this device, and uh, this is the speaker actually. Here, we have the speaker. This is the power on off button. Uh, bottom, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack, micro USB port, main microphone and we actually have two slots uh, so you can actually add two uh, sim cards and even a micro sd card on this device so that's actually a good thing volume rockers back it says that camera it's a single camera guys not dual bottom is just the led flash and uh, gives basic info the body is actually made up of metal so in terms of build quality i would say the build quality on this device is actually good and uh, by the time i set this up let me give you a configuration overview the Galaxy J7 Pro is uh, having a 5.5 inch 1080p Super AMOLED screen. It's powered by the Exynos 7870 processor which is an octa-core processor but again this one was also used in the J7 2016 so it's not a new processor. It has the Mali T830 uh, GPU. It also has support for Samsung Pay. It comes with 3 gigabytes of RAM, 64 GB of internal storage. Moving to the camera it has a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and even the front facing camera is a 13 megapixel uh, shooter. It also has fingerprint scanner NFC and the battery is a 3600 milliamp hour battery. So guys, I've just finished uh, setting up uh, this uh, device and uh, as you can see, it's having that 5.5 inch uh, Super AMOLED screen. And in terms of build quality, I would say the build quality is actually good on this uh, device. And uh, it comes with a familiar uh, uh, touch. Uh, this is new uh, touch service that you uh, get. So that's what we are getting on this one. And let's uh, look at uh, under the hood and uh, 
I'm assuming this should have an auto brightness sensor. We'll check that. Yeah, it has auto brightness uh, sensor as you can see. And let's just go back and let's see the Android version and other things. So let's go to about the device. And as you can see, this is known as the Galaxy J7 Pro. And uh, I'm just going to decline accept this for now. And if you go to software info, as you can see, it's running on Android version 7.0. So it's on no good, but uh, already the 7.1 uh, and other updates have come. So let's go back. And I've noticed that these buttons are not backlit. Uh, so this is very strange considering the price of this device is almost 21,000. Samsung has not enabled backlit buttons to this one. This is the problem with the uh, Samsung J uh, Galaxy J uh, series. They try to gimp uh, a lot of features unnecessarily, I would say. Anyways, let's look at the storage uh, that we have. If we go to storage, device uh, manager, and if you go to storage, it's going to take a couple of seconds. Out of that 64 uh, gigabytes, I'm happy that we are getting 64 gigabytes of internal storage. We get 53.2 uh, uh, GB space. And I really like the fact that uh, this device is having a dedicated uh, micro SD card slot. So you can put two SIMs and an SD card. So storage should not be an issue with this device. Let's just go back. And again, it's a typical Samsung UI that you're getting, uh, the new one. Uh, so that's what it is. And uh, we have a couple of apps that are pre-installed Samsung apps. For example, S Health is also there. And uh, let's go back. And obviously Google Apps and some of the Microsoft apps are also pre-installed on this uh, device. And it also has FM uh, radio functionality. I know many people uh, like that. So that is also there. And the biggest thing about this one is that this is having that Samsung Pay functionality. Uh, so you can add your credit cards and stuff on this. And you can, if the terminal supports tap to pay, you can just tap and pay. So that is the main biggest reason I would say uh, if you want to get this device, get for that. Because at this price point, there are a lot of other devices that have better configuration. But if you want Samsung Pay, yes, this has. Sadly, it's not pre-installed. You have to install it, which is funny because that's the whole setting part of this device. Uh, but uh, that's what we have. Again, I really like the build quality. So what is uh, where I have to give credit? I have to give credit. It really feels nice for a J-series phone. Uh, the build quality really uh, feels good. Let's also test the fingerprint scanner. Let me try. And as you can see, uh, the fingerprint scanner is an active one. So you can just place your finger on it and it unlocks. So yeah, it is taking a half a split second as you can see, but it is good. You can also press, I believe. If you just press it also, yeah, it unlocks. So the fingerprint scanner is actually uh, not bad on this. Actually pretty good uh, considering uh, Samsung, many of the Samsung devices don't have a great fingerprint scanner. But as you can see, this one is having a good uh, fingerprint uh, scanner. Now let's also look at the camera. as This one is having a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, but this one is having a f1.7 lens. And even the front facing camera is a 13 megapixel uh, shooter on this. So let's have a look at this. So this is the typical interface that you're getting. You can use the filters, switching on the camera and stuff. So this is the interface that you get and you have that tap to focus and you can take the snap. Looks like it's taking the snaps uh, fairly quickly. And uh, let me see if we can get that bokeh effect because of that f1.7 lens. Let me focus on this. Actually, let me show you that snap and some of the other snaps that I have taken around my office. So in terms of bokeh, yes, you can get a uh, decent bokeh effect. That's depth of field because of the f1.7 lens. And here are some of the other sample shots that I have taken around my office. Uh, overall, uh, the camera looks to be good. But again, you have to be careful in artificial lighting and low lighting conditions because this one, again, does not have any optical image stabilization. As of now, it's very quick to judge the camera performance. I'll again be playing a lot more uh, with the camera, but uh, this was just a quick unboxing. It'll be very interesting to see how this uh, device handles gaming because the Exynos uh, uh, 7870 with the Mali T830 GPU pushing a 1080p screen, uh, it can be a little bit challenging. So I will definitely test out how this one does in gaming. So stay tuned to my channel. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.